at this dive shop right back here. I actually just came here because I was looking for a mask and snorkel for Emma. Because uh, you didn't want to take her out snorkeling, but it's not an actual dive shop. They don't sell equipment. But I talked to them about their snorkeling tours and I'm going to go out free diving tomorrow. Just me with these guys. And I still have Bali Belly. Uh, they said it'd be fine if I had to do an aqua turd out there, but I just have to swim away from everybody else to do that kind of thing. <laughs> I put the gear anywhere in there? Yeah. You want a banana maybe? No, right now. Maybe. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Wow, man. I like this van a lot. Yeah. This is very nice. Very cool. Oh. Cheers. Man, this van is super dope. Look how big this is. This would be a sweet van to build out. Nice seats too, not oh, all weather. It's the first time I get to see the big volcano on Bali. It's uh, Mount Agun. And then there's Betur, which is uh, right beside there. That tour is the one right beside it, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then this one over here, it's called? The name Batu Karo. Batu Karo. Yeah. Batu Karo. Batu Karo or Batu? Batu Karo. Karo. Batu Karo. Far out. Well, this place is super dope too. It's totally different than uh, the spot I'm living at or staying at. Uh, there's cool mountains driving in here and lots of big trees. Um, anyway, this should be pretty good. Um, Go see the visibility. Probably find out when we're on the boat, but I think this is gonna be nice. That sand is so weird. It's like got all these little tiny balls in it. That's wild. It's like sink into it. Cool. <laughs> My sandal. Oh, he's disappearing. All right, I'm just gonna go to the restaurant up there where we're meeting and then uh, see you guys in the water in a sec. So here we are on the map and this is Padang Bay. We took the boat around this point to a place called Blue Lagoon. First thing I saw after jumping in was a sea turtle and for the moment it's the only steady shot I had for the camera for a while. The rest of the dive I was split 50-50 between filming and just simply taking in this alien landscape with my own eyes. Most of what I saw was unfamiliar, but I did recognize this blue spotted stingray. I actually followed him around for a while and then I spotted a scorpion fish. These are one of several poisonous fish in the area that can deliver a nasty sting from their dorsal spines. And since they blend in so well, it's something I kept an eye out for as I explored these waters. And right here I thought, man, I should have brought Chris's torch. 
He had given me a small diving light to bring with me on this trip so I could look in these kind of holes. But in the spirit of traveling light and keeping things simple, I decided to leave it behind. I had also left my drone behind on this trip, which is something else that I regret not having with me. But the next time I do this sort of thing, I'll be sure to pack all that stuff. If you look closely enough here, you might be able to spot the small clownfish hiding in this anemone. And here I'm chasing down a pretty big puffer fish that my guide pointed out to me. I was actually trying to spook him so he would puff out, but that didn't happen. Still, it was pretty cool to check him out. I definitely wasn't alone in these waters either. Besides these two, there were many other people diving and snorkeling all around me. I just made a point not to have them in frame while I was filming. At this point, we moved on to the next spot, which was just up the coast. We started off in deeper water but didn't stay very long. I dove down this line to an anchor which honestly wasn't very interesting so instead I'm going to jump to this school of rainbow runners. These are a pelagic game fish which was pretty cool to see on this dive and it got the hunter inside of me a little excited. Even so, this is a wreck dive and it's a protected area but it was still fun to let my mind wander into the realm of spear fishing and imagine catching my own food in Bali. Shortly after we made our way back into the shallow reef where things got a bit more colorful. And man, I was happy to see one of these things. This is a peacock mantis shrimp. It's worth looking up if you haven't seen one before. This guy smashes its prey with the fastest punch in the world. Besides breaking the speed of sound underwater, it can deliver a force over 1500 newtons, which is 2500 times the force of its own body weight. And right now, I think he's trying to tell me to piss off. There was a lot to check out in this spot too. My excitement had me short on the draw with my camera. There was some stuff I thought I had recorded but didn't, and then there were some things that I recorded by accident, and that footage I had to throw out. This cloud was one of many clouds of tiny jellyfish that we swam through. They were no bigger than a pencil eraser, but they did stink. My guide Maddie informed me though that they were not poisonous, just a bit annoying. So I decided to swim through them on purpose to compare it to other stings I've had. In that sense, it felt a bit like getting stinging nettles in the face, but then the pain would quickly diminish. Had it not been for the wetsuit, I'm sure the experience would have been much more unpleasant. I can't tell you what this long fish is called except that they were pretty cool and I actually saw quite a few of them on this dive, including a yellow one at one point. If you know what they are, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, lunch was alright. Um, and just moving along, it's not much time for anything, so hopping back in the van. Thank you so much. Thank you today. You're welcome. Have a good one.
Have a good day. Yeah, nice to too. meet you. Yeah. Thank you. You too. Bye. Cheers. Yeah. Have a good day. Yeah. Yeah. You too. Bye. pretty cool i need to shower and deal with stuff first before i talk about it so hang on the truth is i got distracted after that and never got around to making an ending to this video so here's a two times speed of that anchor that i dove down to there's nothing much to it I'm just checking my watch here 16 meters that was it Yeah, it's fun. Oh no! Woo!